So I saw a post the other day that was basically saying that if Oda would give up on this goofy art style, One Piece could be so much better. In particular, they were taking the antagonists of the series as drawn by Oda versus as drawn by other artists with a lot more detail and a lot more serious of a tone. Now, Oda knows that his villains are ridiculous or strange, and in his opinion, as he says in this SBS, that makes them more mysterious and appealing. And if you want to know the thought process behind why it's such a goofy series, you can find that answer right here. So if you want to, like, put this into clear mode and screenshot that, you can read the whole thing. But essentially, his reason for designing the characters in such a goofy way is the same as the reason that he gave Luffy a goofy ability. He is not trying to write a tough guy, dude bro action shonen. He's trying to write a lighthearted pirate story that, because it's so lighthearted, is able to handle deeper topics without it becoming overbearing. Basically, he's not trying to write a seinen, and he has stated multiple times that he doesn't even feel he's capable of writing that type of a story consistently. He's also stated in an interview that this is not naturally his art style. He created this specifically for the story. He wanted to have an art style that was different from what everybody else was doing. Which is why I find it so silly when, like, the critiques of his art style and the ones that try and show it improved just show things that are closer to what mainstream manga looks like. Because that was specifically what he was trying to avoid. And if you think that you have better ideas than him, he says right here, it may be a bit cold on his part, but he doesn't want your ideas. If you want to write that story, if you want to draw your art differently, totally fine. However, he wants to succeed and fail based on the way that he wanted to write his story. He doesn't want to have anybody else that he can blame for failures but himself. And he doesn't want anybody else that he has to credit for the success other than himself. And to be frank, the best-selling manga in history, I think he's doing pretty well.